Ruby, good morning. Today marks the start to Teacher Appreciation Week. So this morning we are taking a look back at all the challenges that the pandemic posed on our country's educators. I spoke with an incredible fourth grade teacher from Rayview Elementary about what this past year looked like for her. Everything I've known about teaching in 20 years had to be flipped upside down. Learning the technology, maneuvering the difficulty of establishing a relationship with a student through a computer screen, then getting in the vaccination line and redefining what learning in a classroom again would look like. It's been a lot for everyone, including teachers. I, I do think that, you know, teachers definitely felt early on in the school year and throughout the school year, like they didn't have, really have a voice. We just did the work and other people made decisions for us. That was and is the reality for many still. But Mrs. Purcell feels lucky to be at a school where their principal and parents hear and support them. Students are they're so wonderfully honest. They say, my dad does not like the way you guys teach math doesn't make sense, you know, and I, I get that. But even through the hiccups of remote learning, teachers have the same priority in mind, safety first. Not just this year, but our always our number one is safety. This year we talk about, you know, the health component of it more than ever, but we've always worried about their, their social emotional part as well. So this whole year, one of the things that I've said to the students again and again is, my job is to keep you safe more than anything and to know that this is a safe place. Teachers are just incredible. We really could not do it without them. And of course, we want to shout out teachers all across our area all week here on Wake Up Charlotte. So text in your teacher shout out pictures where they teach your name to 704-329-3600. That's our number. Send it in so we can share it right here. And teachers make such a difference, especially in a year like this, but in any year. I mean, when you think back to some of your best teachers, you could probably make a list a mile long. Um, and I can only imagine this year that's even uh, tenfold. Rachel, thank you.